Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. But before we hop into that, I want to remind you guys that tonight, the day this video is posted at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am going to be live over on the WhatNot app doing my 40,000 subscriber live auction. It's going to be a great time. I'm going to have a ton of stuff to auction off to you guys. You guys seen the preview video and seen the stuff I've been posting on Instagram. It's pretty sick. Not to mention, I am giving away some absolute bangers over on that stream, so make sure you come over and check us out tonight. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have a video pop up right here. This has all the information. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into today's video where I'm going to start you off with some things that sold. And the first thing that needs to go out today is actually right up here in this box there it is right there this little guy right here is a Fenton glass deer it glows in the dark and it sold for $45 then we've got two pairs of dog boots one pair of grip treks that sold for 38 and a pair of summit treks that sold for 32.50 followed by our first clothing piece which is over here in bin R and actually I think it's this red jacket right here yep it sure is this guy right here this is a Nike windbreaker jacket and it has the center check on it sold for $45 and next we got an item in my most recent working bin and it's this guy right here this masters polo we just picked up in one of our last videos sold for 25 followed by an item we got at the Amazon overstock store this digital multimeter here sold for 55 and these two broken PlayStation 4 controllers I sold four parts for 33.75 and then over here in this bin, these hokas right here are our next item. And there they are right there. These guys sold for 45. And then this next item right here, I thought would have sold a long time ago, but it didn't. So I finally took a best offer on it. And it's right down here in bin H. All right. <sighs> And here it is. This is a super cool full print Atlanta 1996 Olympic t-shirt. And you can see it's brand new with tags dead stock. It sat for a while, but I finally took a best offer of $32 on it. Whoever ended up buying this got a steal on it. Next is this Walt Disney World Germany shirt sold for 18. This rough wear cloud chaser dog jacket sold for 51. Another dog jacket, but this one is a fleece size medium. Yep, right there sold for 40. And then we actually had quite a few of these DVDs right here sell. We actually ended up having seven of them sell to be exact and they are these country music film by Ken Burns. I've actually had these for a little bit now. I don't know why but they all started selling this weekend and I'll take it. Each of them sold for 40 bucks a piece. Then back to some clothes, Bin W. There it is, women's Eddie Bauer down jacket sold for 50 bucks. Some new with tags, Ralph Lauren lounge pants for $39 at Dollar Menu French Fries. Oh, looks like I missed a couple dog items. Got two dog collars, one for $13.50, one for $15. And then I believe this is the last of the dog items. This front range harness sold for $27. And then we have the best sale of the weekend. And that would be this jersey right here. So you can see it's a vintage penguins jersey on the coho tag size 48 official hockey jersey it has the fight strap and on the back mario lemieux this jersey actually sold once before and it got returned to me which sucks but it's part of reselling but i relisted this thing and it sold again in under a month for 250 bucks sheesh that is an amazing sale right there but we're not done yet we still got a few more pieces to pull like this foot joy one fourth zip pullover sweater right here that sold for $32.50 and Oliver Perry cashmere crew neck that sold for $20 a Rawlings catcher's mitt sold for $36 masters of the universe mecha neck with his armor and his club sold for $22.50 and then we've actually got a couple more toys going out as well. Here's one of them. This wrestler right here sold for 10. There we go. And this one right here sold for eight. An Apple keyboard for 24. An Apple Seeds shirt for 12. And finally, this professional chess timer for $34. And now for the fun part, got to get all this stuff packed up and shipped out. And there we go, all packed up and ready to get out to the post office. That's a lot of packages. Later. <laughs> okay, I was not planning on filming anything inside this thrift store. I just decided to stop in on my way back from the post office because I just, I don't know, I just had a little bit of a feeling. So when I walked in, I even grabbed a cart with me, which is something I normally don't do. I normally walk around the store, see if I find anything that if I'm finding stuff, then I'll go get a cart. But I don't know why, I just, I felt drawn today and I walked in and... 
I, I'll just show you. Look at what I found. All right, so this is kind of crazy. Look at this. The thrift store got in a bunch of cycling stuff. Helmets, these are all shoes. There's some shorts and stuff down here. These little computers, there's all kinds of stuff. But unfortunately, a lot of it is priced up. Shoes are $19.99 a piece. Some of the shorts down here, 26 bucks, uh, $19, $25, but some of these bike computers are all priced at $6.99 and I just commented on on both Amazon and eBay. They look like they're going for between 25 and 30 bucks each. So I'm gonna grab every single one of these and make a very, very good profit on them. And then to make sure I wasn't missing out on the uh, cycling cleats at all, they are $19 a piece, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't missing out on some profit there. Looked them all up by the models that were on the boxes, and unfortunately, they look like they're going for around $45 a piece, so not much there for uh, in terms of profit. Same with the helmets, just not much in terms of profit there, even though there are some good ones. I mean, these are burned, but I mean, there's just not much profit there after fees and everything. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave this stuff, but at least we got those bike computers and the mirrors because that's gonna be a nice little score right there. Is that not absolutely crazy? I mean, each of those I was looking up going for like 30 bucks a piece, got 36 of them. I ended up spending a total of $284 at the thrift store right there. And I was only in there for like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something like that. But man, what a nice little stop right there. That is what I like to see. Unfortunately, the rest of the cycling stuff that they've been bringing out for a few weeks has been overpriced. But this time, that was a nice score the next day all right here we are the next day let's see if they get any of that cycling stuff put out all right the section's not looking much different from what it did yesterday so unfortunately they didn't put out much more inventory but i did grab two things this one right here is a brand new Hawk, you guys know that brand right there. I've shared it a few times on my channel. It's a great biking brand. This is a back brace for five bucks. And I think these go for around a hundred bucks. I'm gonna have to look up the exact model. And then I also got for $3.99 a wrist brace. And this is a CL Comfort Land one. I'm gonna have to look this one up still, but that's probably gonna be worth it since it's new. So not too bad. They didn't put out much more, but we still got a few things from that. All right, I just looked up the wrist brace and it's not gonna be worth it. So I'm gonna put that one back. And then I actually saw this guy as I was walking in the store. It was right on the end cap. It's $7.99 green, Zara Basics, but it's brand new with tags, MSRP $89.90 on that. And green tags are half off, so it's only gonna be four bucks today at $89 MSRP and it's Zara, which is, you know, a decent brand to sell. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up. I don't do a ton of Zara, but if it's brand new in tags like that and it's a down jacket, might as well. And then check it out right over here. We got another one, a Zara outerwear down jacket. This one MSRP is $79.95. Yellow tag, $9, half off today again. So it's only gonna be five bucks. Unfortunately, it does have the security tags on the mitts, but those are easy enough to get off when you have a magnet. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up as well. Check it out. Do you see what I see down here on the shelf right there? This is a bolo for some of you. I guarantee some of you guys didn't know these had value. These old Trapper Keeper, official Trapper Keeper branded by Mead, have some value behind them. I don't know why, but people love them. Just make sure it's an officially branded one. Gonna be paying $1.99. Some of these can go for like 40, 50 bucks. This one's a pretty basic one, but it's still gonna go probably around 20 bucks if I had to guess. So be on the lookout for Trapper Keeper stuff. These are hot and I just haven't found one in a while. So nice to see. Do you mind if I look through the bags on the cart? Yeah. Do you mind if I look through the bags? No, we don't think they're priced yet. Oh, they're not priced yet? No. All right, that wasn't a bad stop there, especially considering I stopped in yesterday. I was hoping they were gonna have more of the cycling or biking stuff out. I only found that new, uh, that new POC vest, so that's an awesome score right there. Again, I'm gonna have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure that's like 70 to 100 bucks right there. But I ended up seeing the manager and she was pushing a cart from the front to the back warehouse where they price things at. And she said that they actually have a bunch of stuff that still needs to come out on the floor, which 
means I'm probably going to have to postpone this video because she said it will probably come out on the floor tomorrow or the next day. And I don't want to tip off any local resellers that watch my video. Sorry guys, I like you, but I got to make my bread too. So I'm probably going to postpone this video by a little bit to see if I can get more of this awesome score. Anyways though, I'll probably have this video either flash forward into me trying to find more of this stuff or me going to another thrift store because I think I have enough time to hit one more before I got to go climbing today. So whatever I decide to do, I'll see you there. All right, and here we are back one day later, Salvation Army. Let's see if that new stuff's out. And look at that. We got a bunch more stuff. She was just putting it out on the floor. She hadn't even priced it yet. And we came to a deal if I bought them all. 15 bucks a piece on the vest right here, the protective armors. Um, and then like five bucks a piece on the clothing or seven bucks a piece on the clothing. And then there's a couple knee pads and elbow pads, five bucks each on those as well. So nice. She said there might be some more, but she's not really sure yet. So hopefully there is, if not, we still got this stuff. Awesome, awesome, awesome little score. And just like that, a quick little in and out. Nice, nice haul. Love to see that. All right, was that not an awesome little like three day saga I just had at the thrift stores trying to get as much of this cycling stuff as I can. I ended up getting some really, really nice items here. I'm gonna take you through all of it here in just a second. Firstly, I ended up finding a bunch of these little bicycle computers right here. There were 36 total on the shelves and I bought every single one. There ended up being five of these pan drone ones right here, which are the better ones. These looked like they were selling for around 50 bucks a piece. And then the other 31 units were all made up of these Velo ones and there were different models of them. You can see this one is the Velo Wireless and then there were also ones like the Velo 7 right here. Then there was like the Velo 9, the Cadence and stuff like that. All of them were pretty much selling around the same price which is between 25 and 30 bucks a piece. And then the very next day I ended up going in, I ended up finding two more pieces that I could add. The first of which is this Orbic Maxilla. It's like a face mask for around one of their helmets. I think these go for around 30 bucks if I'm not mistaken. I sold a few of these last year. And then I also ended up finding one vest that day. It is brand new with tags. You can see it says POC, P-O-C right there. That's the name brand. And that is a fantastic bike brand to look out for. I've made a few videos of me finding this stuff, but it is brand new with tags. The model is the Spine VPD Air. I'll pop comps up right here because I haven't looked up any of the vests yet. But from what I remember, these sold very, very well. I wanna say around a hundred bucks brand new um, over on Amazon, they were going for a little bit more. And as I was checking out with those two items right there, I ended up speaking to the manager and she said they had some more stuff coming out in the back the next day. So I made sure to get up there and get some of the stuff which you guys saw on the video and it did not disappoint. I got up there right as they were pricing the stuff and it was about to hit the floor. Let me show you. For $5, I ended up getting this brand new with Tags racing jersey. The next thing here is a cycling bib. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically like a pair of padded cycling shorts for long distance rides so you don't like hurt your butt and stuff. Again, brand new with tags. And then it looks like I got one thing that isn't pocket. It is a Louis Garneau though, which is another really good cycling brand. This is a pair of padded pants. And then the last of the smaller items, a pair of elbow pads. And now for the stuff that is worth the most amount. Not one, but two of the POC VPD air spine protectors, and these ones have the front chest strap on them. And then I got two more of the chest protectors, but these ones have the mesh front instead of the clip, and again, brand new with tags. And then a similar one here, this one is the same model, but it's for kids, so it's probably worth a little bit less, but still a great pickup. And then again, something similar, but this one is a newer model. It's still a spine protector vest, but it is the VPD air 2.0. And then the best one out of them all, I did look this one up because I was curious. I figured it'd be the one worth the most. This is a full armored jacket. You can see it has the armor on the chest, on the back, in the sleeves. It's just full armored all over, brand new with the tags. And over on Amazon, which is where I'll sell this one, it's going for 350 bucks. Woo, I think it's pretty safe to say that that was an awesome, awesome find at the thrift stores. This is why I tell you guys to go into them often because the day I went in there, like I said on my cell phone camera, I wasn't even planning on going. I just happened to go to that post office that had the Salvation Army next to it. So I popped my head in and it turned into three days of finding some awesome, awesome stuff. It just goes to show consistency is key when it comes to reselling. So make sure you're going often and stopping in so you don't miss a deal like this.
And obviously, I am elated that I was able to find this. It's not every day that you find a haul where a few items are going to net you this much profit. So hopefully the footage turned out okay. I'm glad I was at least able to share a little bit with you and get some footage of it. Again, I just wasn't planning on filming that day, so I didn't have my GoPro on me. But at least I still had my phone on me, so I was able to get a few clips of the initial find that led into this whole multi-day haul right here. Hopefully the footage still turned out well and you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, let me know down low by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel for more content like this. Also, while you're down there, let me know what your favorite most recent thrift store pickup that you had was down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Actually, hopefully I'll see you at the WhatNot auction tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.